hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by my name is timmy timmy Tope. <laughs> and as you guys can already see today is another episode on locks if this is your first time stopping by on my channel please subscribe please subscribe <laughs> if you want to be a part of this family subscribe because think about it how do you join a family if you're not oh wait 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 stay with me if you're not subscribed to that family mm. anyway subscribe to this channel join the family and welcome how have you guys been any tea anything new today i'm going to quickly run through four things i wish i knew before i started off my lock journey locks journey lock locks what's the correct thing somebody lock journey or locks journey anyways four things i wish i knew before i started my journey right so guys the first thing is that there are different types of locks yes so we have um sister locks which are like the very tiny tiny ones we have the free form locks we have the traditional locks which is what i am presently rocking we have different types of locks so it is very important that you know the type that you want and the grid that you want yes so some people want um normal box grid some people want my type of grid i have the this grid i don't know what it's called i'll show you guys <laughs> so i think that's what they call the um star grid please correct me if i'm wrong it is very important that you are certain of the type you want so that you don't regret it later on in your journey. So for someone like me, I was just very frustrated with my natural hair. I started to have a hard time combing my hair. I also didn't like styling my wigs anymore. I was working, I was schooling, I was tired and frustrated. And I also loved the look on my sister and my niece. So one day I stood up and I just looked for locticians around me. Then I just went to make my hair. Guys, I didn't know anything. I didn't know the name. I just said I want locks. She's like, what type do you want? I said, I don't know. What grade do you want? I don't know. I just want locks. And I've grown to really, really, really love my locks. But I think at some point, I'm still going to, like, what do they call it again? Um, locks. Um, remind me. Look. It's not regeneration. How can I regenerate it? Reconstruction. <laughs> So guys, it's called lock reconstruction and I think I'm still going to get mine done at some point. I really want the normal box grid and I want sister locks. I really like sister locks. But for now, I am totally enjoying my traditional locks. And I don't even know if I'll eventually have the strength to change my locks because of the so much love I've already built and I have for my locks. Like my baby, my crown, my love, my best friend. I take care of her and she takes care of me back. But the very second thing is that you're going to get really tender headed. Like if someone should touch your head, you can go, ouch. No, not that bad, right? Not that bad. But so the thing is, prior to how sensitive your scalp would be before you get your locks, your scalp would be a little bit more sensitive. And really, what can you do about that? Let's, let's face it. It's like when you have braids, but now you have braids for life. And you have to keep maintaining it during your retwist, your um, maintenance. That is when you are going to know that rice is not being. And then when you even have to style your hair, your head will start paining you. Like your scalp will start hurting. But it's nothing that we can't be. Like this is it. We do it every time. It's not the worst. It's just you become tender headed. Like any small thing you can. You just be. You be more conscious of your scalp. Number three is that maintenance is not cheap <laughs> so when you want to get your locks done you have to just like any other hair type you have to keep maintaining it so it looks clean we have different types of maintenance we have um interlocking we have retwist we have the palm rolling like everything just to make sure that your locks look good it's expensive I think when I was in the UK, I used to get my retwist done for here in Canada. I've found a loctician that somehow does it for a hundred dollars, and that's like per retwist. And you have to retwist your hair every four to six weeks. These are also things that you learn over time. For example, I have my own um, 
items here like my crochet needle is here my interlocking needle is here i have everything and when last did i go to see a loctician i think it's been three months i've been doing my retwist myself i've been washing myself so i feel like i do two times myself then one time a professional so they can do it but i also know that i can do it okay and the very last thing that i need you guys to know is that the starting phase the beginning phase of your journey you wouldn't like it very much like you wouldn't let's let's get into it you you're unable to wash your hair for like a period of time just so your hair doesn't um start unraveling and stuff so you have really dry locks um, you can't style them most times because your hair will be short when you're starting your journey. You don't even know what to do. You don't know what to do. So for me, I went from, you know, my sleek hair, my Brazilian hairs and all of that to traditional looks. I remember the beginning stage. Everybody said, get off that shit. I'm like, excuse you? <laughs> I actually almost answered because I'm like, mm -mm -mm -mm. a body and I want to stay body. But guys, look at me badding. Either ways, all I needed to know was just learn how to get through the starting phase of my locks. And guys, when you start your hair, make sure that you are misting every day with water. That is really all you need. Yes, even if your hair is new, still mist with water. That's the only moisture your hair is going to get. And also, currently, my hair is um 10 months locked. 10 months? Yeah, 10 months. I'm actually 10 months locked. And this is what my hair looks like. Let me know if you have any question at all concerning my journey or if you want to start or whatever you feel about this video. Put it down in the comment section and let's talk about it. I hope you guys have learned a thing or two. For those of you that are about to start your journey or if you know someone that is about to start their journey as well, make sure you forward this video straight to them so they can have a foundational knowledge before starting their looks. Thank you guys. My daddy is calling me. Hello daddy. I'm fine, thank you, Psycho Alessa. As I got really distracted, I'll see you guys in my next video. You already know till then it's what? Peace and love. Is this love loving? Yeah, bye.